So I talk a lot about building compost with garden debris and manure and all kinds of different things to add physical compost to your soil. And that's a great thing to do. That's the foundation of any serious quality garden. But I want to talk today about building compost tea. It's an amazing thing. Um, and I just want, I don't want to get into it too much. I just want to show you my setup, the gear that I've patched together pretty inexpensively um, to make compost tea. I use these pickle barrels. I pick them up, you know, at, at a local store. They're like 30 bucks each. Some of them have this little drain on them, but that's kind of a pain. I don't really even use that. So what I do is I take the pickle barrel, I fill it up with water, and each setup here is the same. So I'll just show you how one of them works. What I do is I take a little air compressor that you'd use in a fish aquarium and I put it in the seedling flat. And then what that does is the little air compressor runs this bubbler, which I have weighted down with this rock. So this thing pumps out tons of bubbles, just millions of bubbles a minute. And the idea is as the, the water in the barrel is aerated, it's going to pass through a big old tea bag, a real tea bag made of compost, which we're going to get, well, I'll show you how I put that together. And all those bubbles aerate the compost tea bag. And what it does is it makes billions and billions of microorganisms w along with the fertility solution. And then you pump that out as a root soak onto the plants. So to make compost tea, you can go to the store and you can buy all sorts of powders and inoculants and compost tea starters, but I don't do any of that. I make compost tea out of my own compost because I know that my compost is made with the best stuff. It's got all the microorganisms that I'm going to need to build up in the bubbles. So what I'll do is I'll go find my compost. I'll find some of the best, richest place. And then I'll just dig out a whole bunch of it. Oh, that's probably enough. Try to get a bunch of worms if I can. Right. Can you do one more shovel just for looks? Okay. So along with the garden compost, I mix in all these other goodies that are going to help make the fertility solution that is the compost tea. I'm making a compost tea particularly for flowering, for all the late season flowering plants that I have. So, you, but you can make compost tea for any reason. You can make compost tea for vegetative growth in plants in the early part of the year. You can even use compost tea just to uh, remediate soil that has no microbial life at all. It's really good for that. It gives a jump start to pretty much dead soils, especially if they've had a lot of chemical use, very little microbials in those soils, compost tea for them. So I use bone meal, really good for flowers. Worm castings, oh, gold. Kelp meal, and that's a lot of kelp meal. That's gonna last in the soil a long time. Bat guano, high phosphorus bat guano, really good for flowering. I always put in some trace mineral powder. This is called azomite, I love this stuff. Make sure you use the powdered kind because they make a granular kind that's sort of slow release to be putting in the soil, but this is super fine powder and it's the best for solution for water, for making the tea out of Finally, I put in a little oyster shell so there's plenty of calcium in the mix. Let's go fill some tea bags. So, we're gonna fill some tea bags. Now, for a compost tea bag, you could use burlap, you know, I tell people go down to their coffee store and ask them for burlap bags that the coffee beans come in. Those things come in really handy for all kinds of garden things. And you can make a compost tea bag out of that, tied up with string or whatever. I buy these really nice ones though because they're made out of really tough vinyl. They got Velcro seals that I can barely get off. But now these bags are super tough. They're going to last many, many seasons and I make a lot of compost tea. So. I just sprang for the good bags. But once you have all your powders mixed in, it's pretty basic. Fill it up. That's about right. That's a 
enough. So I just take an old piece of baling twine, lift my compressor over, and then while the bubbles are running, I just slowly lower that tea bag on into that water. It's going to displace some water. That's all right. So then I'll put the box back on top of there. I'll basically just tie that tea bag around there so it hangs right in the middle of the barrel. So that beauty's gonna bubble all night and most all day tomorrow. So about 24 hours. It could go in a little bit longer if it needs to. Say if you start earlier in the day, it could go the night and through the next day is fine. And then I'll um, give it a root soak in the plants. I'll show you how to do that. So all the compost tea makers have their secret ingredients and this is one of mine. I put molasses in because the sugars in the molasses really help feed the microorganisms and that helps them reproduce. <laughs> Once your compost tea is all finished and ready to be put on the plants, here's the way I do it. I'll pull everything out of the barrel, set it aside for a minute, and then I'll hook up a submersible pump, uh, electric submersible pump. I'll put a hose on it, and then I'll drop that in all the way to the bottom of the tank. And then once I plug that in, that will pump all the tea out of the tank through the hose and then I'll go up and down the plants with the hose and give the root zones a nice deep soak. And that's the complete process of how I make compost tea.